So guys, in this video, we'll talk about that, how we can submit uh, the Cox 1 sequence uh, in the NCBI GenBank. So first we need to uh, sign in here. Uh, you have signed in already. And then we'll submit, uh, because we'll submit its, uh, its uh, DNA sequences, multiple sequences on the GenBank. We'll click on the GenBank and uh, then we'll proceed for the new submission. New submission. And uh, it will ask that what kind of uh, DNA you want to uh, submit uh, because this is the nematode DNA and this is eukaryote. And uh, here it is uh, mitochondrial COX-1 uh, for metazoa. So nematodes are metazoa. So we'll click this and we continue this. So who is submitter? The information of the submitter, my information is already added. So I will continue. So what kind of sequencing method I have used? Sanger sequencing. And these are unassembled sequences. Release following processing. So I have already developed this first file. You can see here uh, the first file. This is first, first file is already developed for nine sequences. Sec1, Sec2, Sec3, Sec4. And uh, I will use this file for uploading. So I will continue it and this will process the sequences. Uh, processing is started. Processing is started. So, So it says that following sequences did not have any sequence. So I will correct this file. So what are these sequences? Six, seven, eight. So I will click on six, seven, and eight. Now yeah, here I need to backspace and. Again, backspace, and backspace. So I will save it with Control S, and then I will delete this file and upload the new one. This will start processing again, processing of the data. So now it is uh, already processed and there is no problem with the uh, sequences. Uh, these are isolates, uh, so we'll uh, continue with the isolates. And uh, there uh, we need uh, source modifiers. Uh, it will ask that whether you want to uh, put this data in the form of tables or a delimited, limited, uh, type delimited table. So uh, as we use uh, this table and uh, here there is organisms. We have this uh, data uh, for the organisms here. 
will put this uh, data over there and uh, then uh, we have this collection date we'll put the data for the collection date and we'll put this data for the collection date and then the location so this is the location and then the names of isolates so here are the names of isolates so if you want to add some other columns some other information as well so you can add uh, this information um, because this is uh, this information is mandatory so i will continue with that So then reference, so we'll add the names of the scientists. So these are the scientist names. So this is unpublished and uh, same as sequence authors. So we'll continue it and uh, now it will ask for uh, lead us to the uh, review and uh, submit page. So here, uh, this is the uh, how it will appear on the uh, NCBI database. So everything is in line over here. Just uh, submit it. So this is all about. Uh, uh, this uh, submission of the Cox uh, sequences in the NCBA GenBank database. So here, as you can see, metals one, mitochondrial Cox one uh, sequence, and this is submitted. And uh, this is the uh, recent, most recent submission we have made for the Cox one genes. Uh, that was all about uh, regarding this video. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.